restaurant, I believe, a high school uh, lunchroom, and a, a kind of a green light appeared in the western sky. This was right after the sundown. And uh, it got, got brighter and brighter, and then eventually it disappeared. It was not, didn't have any uh, solid substance to it. It was just a, a very peculiar-looking light. None of us could uh, understand what it was. Former President Ronald Reagan made statements concerning UFOs on 18 different occasions while in office. The following is an excerpt from one of his speeches. I've often wondered, what if all of us in the world discovered that we were threatened by an outer a power from outer space, from another planet? Wouldn't we all of a sudden find that we didn't have any differences between us at all? After leaving the White House, Reagan admitted to having seen a UFO while he was governor of California. He was aboard the governor's plane at the time. His wife, Nancy, as well as several other people, also saw it and described it as a green, glowing UFO. They chased it for some 300 miles before it went out of the plane's range. On November 7, 1975, an alarm went off at Malmstrom Air Force Base in Montana, the site of launching facilities for Minuteman missiles. A sabotage alert team immediately went to the site where they saw a glowing orange disk the size of a football field hovering over the area. It began to rise, and the North American Air Defense Command radar picked it up when it reached an altitude of 1,000 feet. Two F-106 jet fighters were dispatched from Great Falls, Montana, to intercept the craft. But before the fighters arrived,